Okay, we're here again today with Don Kemlidge at ESRI. Uh, he's a product engineer on the ArcGIS.net SDK team. Don, the reason why we're here today with you is I understand that a lot of work has gone into the developer help systems at, at version 9.3, not only for desktop developers, but ArcGIS engine developers. Can you tell me a little bit more about this? Uh, yeah, actually, we you know one of the things that we really tried to focus on with 9.3 was was quality and really improving the SDK system. And in my opinion, there's three main areas that I think uh, developers should know about. Okay, what are those? All right, let me show you. Nearly all the code examples are now in both C# -sharp and VB.NET. So as a demonstration, I have the Document Explorer open, and in this case, I'm actually have it open to a sample called Address Inspector. If I were to scroll down to towards the bottom of the sample, I'll see that there's a C# -sharp tab and a VB.NET tab. If I click on the View Code link, in this case, it'll actually take me to the C# -sharp code of the sample, or I could likewise click on the VB.NET tab and click on the View Code link, and it'll show me just the VB.NET code. Another document type are snippets. In the related topics type of documents, such as a how-to, it gives detailed information about how to accomplish a particular arc object's functionality, and you're going to find that there's both C# -sharp and VB.NET code available. One of the things that we've done to really enhance the arc object's library reference is to add hyperlinks to all the different code examples directly to the individual arc object types that you would be looking for. To demonstrate these new hyperlinks on the Arc Objects Library reference, let's say that I was interested in doing something inside of the Geometry Library, specifically for the I Envelope interface. So I would scroll down, find Geometry, I would continue to expand through the nodes, and go down to the I Envelope interface, and let's say that I was interested in the XMAX property. And my document will open. But what you want to take advantage of is scrolling down to the bottom, you're going to see that we actually have hyperlinks directly to snippets, samples, and the different related topics that will give you an actual code example of how the iEnvelope.xmax property was used. The third productivity enhancement I'd like to demonstrate is the query for topics about page and that's going to really help you to find documents more quickly. To demonstrate the usefulness of the query for topics about search page what you want to do is with the document explorer open expand your particular SDK that you would have installed in our case the extending ArcGIS desktop with .NET. Then we'll click on the query for topics about document and what we're going to find is that we have documents that are organized by a particular topic a functional area within the ArcGIS system. You can also go through and organize topics based upon what type of document they are whether they're a sample or a snippet or a walkthrough or maybe even a how-to. So I could go and choose okay this is a how-to and let's say that I wanted to further restrict it to how-to on controls and we'll find that we get exactly to the document that we're looking for and we can find it very quickly. All right, so Don, in, in, in addition to the productivity enhancements and functionality of the health system, uh, as most developers would probably agree, I mean, it's really about the content, that there be a lot of content in the health system in the samples and that that content and samples be very easy to find. Uh, what types of improvements have you made at version 9.3 to help developers in this way? Actually, we've added a lot of new content in 9.3, above 9.2, and, uh, you know, I, in my opinion, there's four major areas where we've really made a lot of uh, improvements, and I'd like to show those to you as well. Oh, sure. That'd be great. Regarding new content, the first thing that I can think of is we've really improved and overhauled the geodatabase management documents. This document series is located inside of the Working with ArcGIS Components folder, and then Geo Database Management. You'll find that we've organized the content to be uh, more logical and flow with what a developer would expect. Plus, you can drill in. We even have subtopics, so how to create a new Geo Database. And we're going to actually give you some really good step by step instructions, including 
both the C-sharp and the VB.NET code. We've created some new walkthrough documents that uh, take developers from beginning to end on how to accomplish important developer tasks. As an example of this on the Query for Topics About page, um, if we change our types to walkthroughs, there's a consuming a geoprocessing custom model in .NET. So if we click on that link, we're going to find that this is a pretty extensive walkthrough that actually goes through uh, creating a custom model using Model Builder. Maybe not all developers are familiar with doing that, so we'll give you a little tutorial on how to accomplish that and then how to actually test the model and then you would actually go through and consume the model inside of your Visual Studio project and then test the application. Um, if you have any problems or, or getting stuck along the way you can also click and find the actual sample code itself to make it run. For more advanced and intermediate uh, Arc Objects developers we've increased the number of how-to and snippet documents uh, thereby allowing them to accomplish more individual ARC objects tasks. For our beginner and intermediate um, ARC objects developers, inside of the library reference at the very top we've added an understanding the ARC objects library reference documents. So this document series is the first node under the ARC objects library reference and it's really going to help new developers uh, understand how to actually use the Arc Objects Library Reference to write effective .NET code, such as when to use the new keyword or not to use the new keyword, um, how exploring the table of contents inside of the Arc Objects Library Reference can be helpful to you, um, how to cast across different Arc Objects interfaces, and maybe some potential pitfalls that you might want to avoid as well. Um, when coding properties, when to use the by ref or the by val arguments. Um, also how to find different code examples to help you become successful. Oh, that looks great. Do you have any additional tips and tricks for developers as they're using this, the help system? Yeah, you know, as, as we develop the software developer kit content for the developers to use Arc Objects, there's three things that come to my mind that I use all the time that really help improve my productivity in using Arc Objects. Sure, what are those? Uh, let me show you. Okay. Perhaps my favorite is the sync with the table of contents button on the document explorer. So let's say you found the document you're interested in, like create a custom tool, and uh, it has all the different information you want, but you might say, well, is there anything else around it or something else that might be relevant? Well, you can actually click on the sync with table of contents button, and it'll actually take you through the entire table of contents and bring you exactly to the document that you want. It's a very handy feature. Another handy feature in the Document Explorer is the keyword search option. Doing a keyword search can be done by clicking on the search toolbar inside of the Document Explorer. Let's say I wanted to look for the keywords old data. And I click the search and it'll go through inside of the help and find which one I'm looking for. Last but definitely not least is using the F1 function key inside of Visual Studio to find a particular ARC object type. The way that you use F1 is inside of your Visual Studio project you actually click on the particular ARC object type that you're interested in then you hit the F1 key on your keyboard and that'll actually open up the document explorer exactly over the particular ARC object type you're interested in. Alright, thanks.